Okay, guys, uh, here's the uh, spindle for the uh, Themac. Themac, right? Tool yeah. post grinder. I think that's how you say it. Yeah. So this is the uh, business end of the spindle. This is a, uh, no, that, okay, it's, Ray, it's a it's, model. It's a three, or it's a J7. J7, not. 945 945 i think it's on here i think it's on oh yeah shaft. yeah oh shoot, that's right it was a nine 945t spindle on a, on a j7, j7. t-mac j7 a tool post grinder this is a third this is the external uh one this is three quarter arbor right here and it has a nut and all that we've just taken it off for the for an external for grinding measuring wheel. purposes well but this for an external grinding wheel right right here then inside here, they make a they make uh, what? arbors. Arbors, right? Different size to, arbors to go to go inside for doing internal grinding, and this is tapered, and at the bottom is a five sixteenths twenty four thread thread right. down the bottom, and then this portion is tapered of about a little over an inch, inch and well, not quite an inch and a half. It's right in there tapered um, that screws in here and then you can and then it's tapered out and they come in different lengths right uh, to mount a small small a quarter inch arbored uh, grinding wheel and they also make ones that have a collet for mm -hmm. an eighth inch grinding for little tiny things. Li little stuff <laughs> right. right grinding jewelry right so what we're, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make one for a quarter inch uh, grinding wheel uh, about two inches long, out that will stick out here, uh, and uh, it's all but will fit the need. taper. The, the problem here is we don't know what this taper is in here, and uh, what we're going to do is show you how we figured out what the uh, taper, what the dimensions are, what the dimensions are for the taper. So here's a quick little drawing. I'm going to just explain. It's pretty simple. I'm just going to show what what this uh all this represents the blue is the part this, this line here this line is the what the part we're going to be making the red lines represent and down here they represent the limits what we measured the this is the top this is our reference line that's the top of the shaft right here and then we just measured with a depth mic the how deep the hole was we measured down to the shoulder which is this red line really and the, how deep the hole is where it's threaded so we know some dimensions to build the uh, arbor with what we're going to do is we've got some gauge balls and thank we're... you randy for <laughs> my gauge balls <laughs> so what we do we're going to drop two gauge balls in well one at a time we're going to drop one in so it doesn't touch anything but the side walls of the taper. Uh, it can't touch anything but the side walls. It can't, it can't sit on the shoulders or anything. So what we did is we dropped several balls down there until we got to the one that did that, and it's as low down as we could you know, get one to fit. And then what we're going to do is we're going to set our depth mic across the top of the reference point, which is the top of the shaft, and measure to the top of the ball. And then we're going to take another ball and do the same thing at the top end of the taper. Measure the top. Now, these are the things we'll end up knowing. We know the exact diameter of each ball. And we know the exact distance from the reference point uh, down to the top of the ball. So we can calculate the center distance between the balls. And... When I draw it on the computer, then we can draw a tangent line from the the center point of the balls on each side, and we have our taper, and the computer will, you know, will then tell us what the angle is. It's it ends up being uh, two point one two degrees of 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 angle taper on the side per side, so four a little over four degrees um, total taper for that. Um, so, anyway, we're going to show you how we how we measured that, and uh, we're going to do that. So, uh, so well, we took the little one. Well, we actually started probably down in here somewhere. Yeah, yeah. We, we started two or three sizes lower. Discovered it just dis disappeared down in there, so we figured that that was too deep. <laughs> yeah. So we uh, 
just process of elimination. We uh, basically just take the ball and slip it in there. And now you get now, you, you can get stuck in there. Oh yeah, don't beat on it because uh, you'll be in trouble. You won't get it out. Uh, <laughs> you want it to be in there, but but not in there forever. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so um, you know, and then we uh, we just we just measured. Um, Oh shoot! Did I have to change anvil? Uh, no, no, that's right. So we measured down gently uh, to the top of that ball, like that. And yes, you push on a little bit, but to make sure it's seated, but not so tight you jam it in there. And we get our measurement, and it was yeah. Oh, that's exactly what we got before. <laughs> that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, point nine oh one. Yeah, uh, that's what we got before. So that's pretty good. We measured the, the same numbers. So hopefully this will come out. Yeah. And it doesn't because Randy pushed on it too, too hard. Too hard, but no. Um, <laughs> but so here we just need to tap on the. Yeah, we just tapped on a little bit and it comes out. There, there it goes. is. There it came out. And then we did the so same. Same thing with the big one. Right. And then we did this. We just kind of rolled it in there, seated it, and measured it, and and we came back. Well, that. Oh yeah, I guess. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah. This is the right one. So, so we. And we just kind of came back and. Um, Measure to the top of the ball again. Right there. Oh, we got the same thing again. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> For a couple of Yahoos, that's pretty good. Yeah. So there we so go. So that that's so that's how we got our dimensionals uh for the uh taper. And then uh we're gonna so we're gonna we're gonna make uh draw out the rest here. And uh, we're going to make a taper, make, make a make, make a, a shaft, make a little sp spindle shaft. And we're going to turn this between centers because what thirty thousand, I think, was the top yeah, I speed. Yeah, thirty something thousand. Thirty two thousand or something. Yeah, something like that. Ridiculous. Yeah, so we're t we're turning it between centers. Uh, it gives a little more of a challenge, which we really don't need, but we don't want. But <laughs> yeah, it's the way it is. Mm -hmm. uh, so we do get it straight, and uh, should work out pretty good. I'm not going to be around when he runs it, so. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be the first one I call uh, if I have any issues. If you survive. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so we, uh, we think this is going to work out. We'll, we'll uh, end up seeing. Anyway, all right, you guys, okay. we just wanted to show you that. Thanks. Here's Randy at work cutting my taper. I don't know if you can see the finish oh, on there. that. Just trust me, that's a beautiful thing. <laughs> I don't know how good I am, but I'll give it a shot. Now we can try to zoom in there and give you guys a good shot.
It is. Uh, it looks like it's polished. Yeah, that's, that's got to finish a lot. We at? We need to, that's how much more we need to go. Uh, Hundred thirty thousands. Yeah, total. Total. So wow. sixty-five thousand more. Yeah. Look at that finish, boys and girls. Yeah, that's pretty nice. That's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be real close to that diameter, five six. Yeah. Actually, that's not even 560 meters yet, right? Okay. And we really do need to turn around. Turn it off up here. Just touch it, yeah. No, no. We're, oh, we're, fuck it. Let's just... <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, so we're all done here. Uh, well, kind of. Sort of. Kind <laughs> of the shop. After, after what? Two and a half days? Yeah. How, how many? Well, three, three. Three days. Of, uh, came over Friday before. afternoon. Oh, God. Three days of him wasting my time. <laughs> but, no, not really. No, I'm just joking, okay? Uh, but yeah, Ray here. So we've got some projects what, uh, done. So let's hear it. We'll show them. Yeah, we, we got most of the stuff done. Most of the stuff done for that. Um, the legs gotta, and the wheels. I gotta open the hole on the inside here still, um, because we didn't have what we needed in order to do that. But I think I might be able to pull it off at home. And uh, but uh, yeah, clean it up and whatnot. And that's where my axle to slide through for my casters and whatnot. So retractable wheels. So, so uh, that's gonna be a no big deal, no brainer. I think, I think to, you're gonna have to paint it. Oh yeah, it's gonna get powder coated, buddy. Forget that powder, painting stuff. Powder coated. Yeah, powder coated. Man. And uh, Roscoe, outside. Go.
And we uh, we made a trip there down to uh, Ray. Uh, yeah, Kittigan visited Ray Canilia at, at Ray's Kittigan. garage. Yeah, had a fun time down there. We we even drank beer. <laughs> Speak for yourself. I, oh, I guess I did that. You one. had beer too. I did. I admit it. Okay. <laughs> but we were forced to drink beer. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> and we had we had a fun time down there, and, and we shot some video and um, doing the uh, punch uh, test uh, and uh, whatnot. That's and, right. We did the punch test, and we'll squeeze it in the in the videos. Yeah. So. But I had a lot of fun with Ray, though. I mean, it was for me, um, you know, just for what it's worth, you know, having to meet you guys, you know, once I've seen you on film a few times and, and uh, you know, develop this sort of relationship and, and conversing with you back and forth like I have with Randy. Um, it's just really, really a neat thing to be able to literally come and meet that person that you've been corresponding with and joking with and... You know, we've spoke on the phone. I can't tell you how many times. Yeah, you know, yeah. I've called Ray. Um, I've talked to Adam. And, you know, I've talked to Tom and everybody. You know, and and uh, just so like I said, just to meet you, you know, for the first time is truly a privilege. So. Oh, it really, is nothing special, folks. No. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, I just want everybody out there to know that you know, uh, Randy, in my opinion, is is one of the top notch machinists that that we have the privilege to you know come into their workshop and and to see what they do and teach us something in return and I know Randy's a very humble guy he's like oh you know I didn't do anything but he does a lot you know he's he's very knowledgeable um, he he knows what to do when to do it how to do it and figure things out I've learned so much from this man in the few days I've been here I can't begin to tell you so thank you for that, Randy. Oh, thank and, you, Ray. <laughs> you know, so <laughs> I haven't learned a thing. Uh, Ray's a really nice guy, but <laughs> and he's a really good welder. So but, no, uh, it's been really fun. We've had a, we've had a fun time. Uh, you don't want to hire us to do anything. Uh, <laughs> no, it'll cost sure. you a fortune. <laughs> Our minute hour of production rate is yeah, really low. An hour talking and carrying on, <laughs> so, and five minutes of working. So, uh, uh, yeah. So, uh, what the other project uh, we did was uh, getting the. Well, we we didn't weren't yeah. able to finish the spindle. We no, made, we, we had some slight issues with this, and uh, um, I'm gonna take it home. It's getting late, and I've been here like you know. About ready to out, out do my welcome. Yeah, he's going to be the, the <laughs> house guest from hell very soon. Uh, actually, my gut, my wife does know how to shoot. Yeah. He doesn't know that yet, but he I doesn't do want to find out. Yes, thank you. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm going to I'm going to attempt to uh, finish this at home. It, it, it's not going to require a whole lot. I mean, I think I can even do it. So yeah. Well, um, well, let's we we'll see. We, so we uh, we got the we got the real important part. all the important stuff is and, done. Uh, the, we got this uh, this is a tape. Uh, That's the taper that we explained. Yeah, the, before right uh, this tapered in here, and we got the taper cut and the threads uh, for for mounting it. And uh, so Ray's gonna finish up this taper and the part where the where the, the wheel, wheel goes the wheel on. mounts. Yeah, it has to be turned down to about a quarter inch. Quarter inch. Right? Yeah. So, yeah. So and, and put a couple flats. Right, right, so we so, can tighten it into the, yeah. the thing here. So we'll, we'll get some pictures when it's done. Yeah, I'll yeah, definitely right. shoot some pictures. Or, or send, it, send them to me, and I'll throw them in a video or whatever. Okay, all right, cool. Uh, you know, we'll get some pictures of the finished product, and uh, hopefully we'll see how it runs at 30000 just before it blows up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just before yeah. it takes my head off. So, well, we'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think I, it's been as true as can be, yeah. and uh, I think I think it, it's going to come out. It's a... Challenge to make something like this where there's two tapers threaded on each end, on and, each end. and it's small and you're turning it between centers. It, uh, the, the reason we, we're not finishing it other than we got to get Ray the hell out of here. Uh, <laughs> otherwise, he's going to become a renter and he can't afford that. He can't afford so, that. Oh, in California yeah. State Lodge, you get <laughs> in Mariposa County, you get to shoot renters. It's okay. <laughs> so, so if you see me so, doing this, you'll know why. <laughs> so, but, uh, uh, we're have I'm still having issues with my taper attachment, and it's just not. Uh, it's close. Does anybody it's need a taper there. attachment? <laughs> For a lance. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, but but Ray can finish this up. And, yeah, I think uh, I can. You can. This is the really the easier part. Right. So. Definitely. But the, the, this part, this. That's this. This came it's out sweet. Just perfect. Yeah. It came it's out perfect. Just literally, really nice. So, pretty happy. So. 
All right, Randy. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, buddy, just thank, thank you. you for helping me thank out you, and right? showing me a bunch thank of you. stuff yeah. and uh, it's in, having me over and putting me yeah. up. And you owe me about fifty dollars worth of inserts, I think. But yeah, okay. Least, yeah, yeah. I, I know. What's <laughs> you take payments, <laughs> yeah. monthly payments, payments on <laughs> a nickel yeah. a month. <laughs> so no. uh, yeah, we. I, I appreciate you know. Yeah, coming it was up fun. And, uh, we had fun yeah. and. Uh, I had a great time, got really see, great you time. You know, got to see Ray, yeah. so from some of his friends, and, and uh, Phil Mundy. Uh, yeah, can't was, forget Philip. Philip was over and stuff, so uh, he did some machining, and, you know, we shot some video of that, and I'll be getting those in the yeah. video. You know, we'll squeeze yeah. some of those clips in, and he was making some uh, Kurt Weiss jobs, which were very Yeah, uh, that, that kid's really pretty nice. talented. Yeah, very nice, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that's about it, I think. All right. Okay. So, thanks. Thanks, thanks for watching. And uh, thanks, everybody. Thanks hey. for watching.